Hi, this is Ferdy from iCrack Tool. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a SSH connection between a Windows computer and an iPhone or iPod Touch. So, first, what we have to do, we have to download a tool from Google. It's called Putty, it's P U T T Y. And just download that tool and put the exit file to your desktop so you can access it easily so there it is so next you're gonna need a tool for your iPod it's called OpenSSH so go to Studio Go to search and then type in OpenSSH. I already installed it, so there should be an install button in the upper right corner. So just hit that, install it, and you may have to respring. So now you open Putty and it we you have to type in the IP address of the iPod so you can find that out on the iPod if you go to the Wi-Fi settings and they see you can also find it on SB settings so just take that IP address and type it into Putty. The port stays the same and just open it. So now it will ask you for login. So just type in root as shown on the right. and as password type in Alpine it won't show the password so make sure you type it in right so let me show you some stuff like LS you can show directory with that like everything that's in the folder right now with CD you change the directory the two little dot means you go one directory back and Let's change to the um, to the image directory where all the images are saved you made with the iPod. So there you go, all my images. So another comment would be top. It shows you all the processes running on your iPod so tap that in and it will show you all of them with the CPU usage and the time it's running already so let's open another one type in the same thing so IP address then root for login and alpine for password there you go now let's open an app preferences you see it over there it has a process ID the process ID is 268 so if you wanna kill this process for example type in kill space 268 and as you hit enter it will close there you go it basically works with every app so let's open doodle jump for example will show up as a new process with the ID of 432 so just type in kill 
four three two. And it will close. So let's show you another game. It's a racing game. It's fast five. Again with pretty good graphics, so you will see it uses a lot of CPU. Its ID is four three six, so just type in kill four three six. But let's lo let it load a little bit. So as you can see in the processes, there's also a process called Springboard. It has the ID 251. So when you type in kill 251, it will respring because you killed the surface, something like the Windows Explorer for Windows PCs. So you could also type in respring for respring the iPod, but I want to show you something else. So let's type in reboot. As you guess, it will reboot your iPod. And it will also lose the connection. So let's just close this. We don't need that anymore. I'm sorry for the black flashing screen. I don't know how that came. Just okay. There you go. That's everything I wanted to show you. So have fun with that and subscribe and comment if you want. And see you later.